Hi guys, let's talk my uh, new uh, paragliding range. I actually finished in May, but it's summer, you know. Summer is hot. I won't play in the water. I play wild wild kayak. That's what I do in the summer. So right now the weather is cooling down. Let's go back up fly. <laughs> So this is a build with a hot motor, uh, very simple, lightweight, you know, easily carry away, and, and you know, work with any uh, two inch trailer hitch, and uh, use a regular uh, 80 volt uh, battery, and you have a voltage indicator, uh, once the voltage running really low, you want to change the battery and on and off switch right here and the hydraulic tension control right here uh, yeah that's that's about everything this side this is your uh, speed controller and three phase wire goes to the motor just for the if anything wrong you can repair from here and there's your extension uh, extension for the remote control so right now I already turned on once you push the throttle you make it smooth very simple and uh, that's a 12 inch uh, 12 inch spoon and uh, you can hook up a 500 pound fishing line by over uh, over a thousand meter so that's enough for regular uh, power gliding toy. Um, I want I want to talk about more detail about the hub motor. So the pro for hub motor is, um, you know, uh, very simple. Uh, you see the hub is become part of your spoon, part of your wrench. So it's very simple. It's maintenance free and. Uh, this is a 1000 watt uh, hub motor. Uh, right now, you can go to a 5000 watt, maybe even bigger, you know. <laughs> so, once you go bigger, you can actually use a regenerative uh, brake as your tension control. So, my friend's uh, brake made, made, made those uh, uh, power gliding uh, wrench. Just use a 5,000 watt hub motor with a regenerated brake, and uh, they sell pretty pretty good. So the regenerated brake is it's like the motor try to hold the position, and you put a uh, you put a more power to make it smooth, so the move regenerate electric go back to your battery. That's how that works. Uh, if you have an uh, electric car, uh, hybrid car, you probably understand more, uh, more clear. So when you push the brake on your uh, car, they actually use the regenerated brake first uh, to access the brake. But uh, the regenerated brake is not that powerful. So if you in the highways, high speed, cannot really completely stop your car you have when once you put full brake in you will still use a dish brake to uh, to stop the car so you can say the regenerated brake uh, can give you good tension but not that strong which is actually perfect for the power gliding because you don't really <laughs> need hold it strong you know you just need a perfect tension control so that's why the regenerated brake is kind of perfect for the power gliding. So that's another pro for the hub motor. Once you got a bigger size hub motor, so you can use the regenerated brake uh, to as a tension control. Uh, I actually have this uh, box because I built a, a 5,000 watt uh, hub motor. You know. You just use a regular, you, you, you just use this uh, control box to as your controller. Mm -hmm. So one side is your throttle, uh, the throttle, 
one side is your regenerate brake to control your tension. So the the cons for the hard motor. Uh, so the carb motor, uh, the hard motor is is you know is is finished by its big mantle cage outside, right? That's why you can use use this as part of your you know rank. So with a heavy uh, mantle cage. So makes the hard motor is way higher than the regular brushless motor, and uh, this is a one thousand watt hard motor. It's okay. I mean, it's not really so heavy, but once you goes to five thousand watt hard motor, I mean, the motor itself is already forty pounds. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's uh, really counts for me. I mean, I I don't really like anything so heavy. I want everything more portable, you know. Uh, and also, because the cage covered everything, so once you put a full load, and you can if you continue use use the motor with full load, the motor will heat up, right? The mo once the motor heat up, it's not really easy to cool down. It take a quite a long time to cool it down. So, yeah, whenever you think you have to uh, continually use with heavy load on your motor, you need a long time for cool down. That's the cons for the hard motor. Yeah, because the cage. <laughs> yeah, the cage is good thing, but also something it's not really good. That's why I, I also have a uh, you know regular uh, brushless motor with a boat uh, for the energy transfer. Uh, that kind of wrench you can build a super power because uh, you know regular brushless motor you can buy pretty much any size you want. Uh, you can build a really powerful wrench and uh, and. And also avoid those kind of heat problem. Uh, yeah, that's the pro and cons for the hard motor. Yeah, the pro is uh, simply build and maintenance free, and the cons is heavy and it's not good for the heat transfer. Uh, let's talk my uh, remote control. This is my remote control. So this is a receiver. So the receiver goes to a regular, uh, you know, car plug. And right now I just plug on the, you know, 12 volt power bank. Uh, so this is more simple. Because the signal line is much longer. You can put on the, you know, power of your car, put it higher. Once you put it higher, you, you can extend that range. And the transmitter is it's very simple. It's waterproof. And just one button. You push the button. Make a full power of your wrench. And uh, so right now, this the range, if it's really wild open area, and you put a the receiver higher enough, you definitely can get full range. I mean, it's cover a thousand meters. Uh, but more realistically, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you won't get that perfect condition. So I still, I still are uh, testing on the antenna stuff. I actually already bought uh, several antenna try to uh, make a difference. Uh, because I don't really want to put a really big antenna. Of course, if you put a really big antenna and put an amplifier there, you definitely can get a you know, very bigger, very longer range. But uh, like I said, I want something more portable. So I want to test this, you know, the antenna not that big, but it's still uh, really good for the longer range. So those are still under uh, test. But uh, if you just want to use like this 
for the for the water, you know, you know, wakeboarding. You know, this is perfect. One button, <laughs> full power, one button, perfect. And this use a uh, uh, twelve volt battery. It's a standard twelve volt battery. And you have rubber seal right here. Uh, so the battery can can last very long because it doesn't consume power uh, unless you push the button. So only when you push the button, you use the power. So that's why the battery can stay very long. You don't really need to change that battery very quick. And the battery is easy to buy. It's not something <laughs> so special, you know. You can order, I think uh, from Amazon it's like a dollar each something. Uh, it's not expensive at all. Uh, yeah, this this is a current setup. Uh, One thousand watt motor is power enough for the regular power gliding pulling. Uh, of course, the bigger power is more power. Uh, the bigger motor is more powerful, but uh, for the personal use, this is enough. And uh, I will talk about uh, my, uh, you know, regular brushless with both energy transfer wrench next time, uh, so you can compare more detailed stuff. And we'll see you next time.